Government is not reason. Government is not eloquence. Government is force. And like fire, it's a dangerous servant and a fearful master. Well, hello everyone, and thank you for tuning in. My name is Daniel Hapney, and this is The Real Story. Tonight I've got kind of an interesting show. I've got a little bit of news. Um, gosh, I'm thinking of uh, maybe a couple minutes or mind frames so we can keep on refreshing you about the news that was a while ago called 9-11. Yeah. Um, also, you know, we'll cover what's happening economically. We try to every show because, you know, we're going to enslave you and probably do it through an economic means, let alone uh, let's build a police state so that they can, you know, somebody with guns and badges can make you pay all these taxes. Um, but I want to start you off with a thought. I wanted you to just start, you know, start the show with you thinking. I'll, I'll say something. It's a quote I thought was very good. And I thought maybe if you heard it and you put it in your mind and asked yourself, you know, hmm, here's the quote for you. And maybe towards the end of the show, I'll tell you who it's from. Our lives begin to end the day we become silent about that which matters. One more time for you. Our lives begin to end the day that we become silent about that which matters. Don't want you to be too silent. But I do want you to think. So anyway, a couple things. What's um what's on the news for today? Gee, well we could start off with news. You know, there's there's so much to cover. Where would anyone begin or end? But the one I like, this is from the U.S. News and World Report. We'll start off with some news here. Um, rather interesting stuff. This has to do with mercury found in high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup. Where have I heard that before? You know, if I open up any package of pretty much any processed food nowadays. How do they sweeten it? Do they buy sugar from sugar cane or sugar from beets? Or do they use this high fructose corn syrup? It turned out to be rather interesting because, you know, mercury is not something that comes from corn. Yeah, the last time I checked, you don't get mercury from corn. They don't mine corn fields for mercury. And I thought, well, gee, you know, maybe it's in the process or something, something in the process. And then I found out mercury isn't used in the process of uh, making corn syrup. So you got to ask yourself, how is this mercury getting into all of our foods? Kind of like aspartame, huh? How did they get that in 4,000 products, 6,000 products? So today's news anyway, the U.S. News and World Report. Um, I'll give, give a quote. This is from January 28th, you know, of 2009. Um, Quantities of mercury have been found in high fructose corn syrup, the ingredient that has replaced sugar in many of our processed foods. Reports have also come out that the FDA knew about the traces of this toxic substance in our food. Hmm. Didn't the FDA know about melamine too? And at first they said, oh, no, no, melamine's bad. There's no safe amount. And then when they found out that it was 90% of your baby formula, all of a sudden, well, a little's not bad for you. So what are we supposed to believe? A little mercury's, you know, no, oh, it's not bad for you. Isn't it? This FDA, the revolving door between Monsanto and the FDA, the drug companies and the FDA, who's now heading up the FDA? Remember the quote from Obama, I'm not going to hire lobbyists. Well, gee, who's the person he put in for the FDA? Isn't that one of Monsanto's lawyers or something? Got to ask yourself, you know. Hmm, maybe this whole Obama thing is a deception. Could it be? So I'm going to read on anyway, that the FDA knew about traces of the toxic substance in the food and sat on the information. This news comes out just as we've learned that the peanut butter factory responsible for the salmonella outbreak uh, has a storied history of health violations. What a week for food safety, huh? That all came out in the same week. So once again, we remember melamine, oh yeah, in our baby formula. Aspartame, that's right, another one of those sweetener things. Now high fructose corn syrup having mercury in it. Hmm. Is any of this making a pattern for you that you can pick up? You know, do, do, do you like things eventually, you know, line up and you go, gee, I can, you know, it's kind of like listening to music after a while that, that, that melody plays over and over. But to find out that they're putting bad stuff in your food, <laughs> who'd believe it? You know, mercury um, in high fructose corn syrup affects many of the most popular foods in America, including yogurt, soda, candy, juice, jelly. You know, even a small amount of it can be seriously unhealthy. Well, anyway, that's the U.S. News and World Report. I thought it was rather interesting because 
not being the first time that they found toxins in our food, let alone our water. And for you viewers and Sharon, remember as you take a glass ah, of H2O, they put additives in there. The town puts it in for you. It's called fluoride. Yeah. Hmm. Why don't you look that one up? Because it's always about your health and what's good for you, right? Yeah. Yeah, the FDA. Didn't they approve that Vioxx and stuff? Oh, don't get me going. So anyway, well, the other big stuff is, well, I got to tell you about this. This is the stimulus package week, right? Last week, we all had to hurry, 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 hurry. Obama's got a new stimulus package. Listen to the names. This is like George Orwell, you know, coming back to life, Eric Blair, where we're calling it stimulus package. I call it, hey, push the button. I want a depression faster package. And what are they doing? They've still got the Barney Franks lying to you and all that. Remember, Obama went back from the campaign trail to push the first banker bailout thing. Push, push, push. And to remind you of last week. Last week's show, what did we tell you? We told you about Bear Stearns, Lehman Brothers, Citibank, AIG, Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac. All those bail, 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 bail. Thief, 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 theft, 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 theft. You know, didn't Ra let's see, hang on. Didn't Rahm Emanuel work for like Fannie or Freddie? Barney Frank, didn't they work there too? Yeah, wasn't, uh, should we go into Obama's mother who, you know, worked for Geithner's father and now Geithner's the Treasury Secretary for Obama? I mean, come on. The players don't even change. Yet you out there, you're probably sucking down a corn dog, huh? Full of corn syrup. I'm just kidding. What do I know what you're eating? It's kind of fun. Yeah. Things we got to think about. We now have mercury in our corn syrup. Hmm. Is it a contaminant? How did you get in there once again? It's not, it's not in the soil. You know, gee, I'm a farmer. I grow corn. The other funny thing, though, about corn is you're probably not familiar. How about these words? G-M-O. Yeah, we'll pick up the U.S. News and World Report where it said about mercury in your corn syrup, your high fructose corn syrup, but the thought of genetically modified organisms where we have cross-species chimera. We inject the genes from, let's say, animals into plants. I know, hard to believe, huh? But they do it, and they specifically do it with corn, of all things, so that the corn would come up with its own toxin so the bugs would need it. Yet now you're ingesting that genetically modified corn, you're going to come up with a toxin. Hmm. Kind of funny how that works. So all you geneticists out there, you know, come on into the show and tell us, you know, tell us where we're going off base with that one. So anyway, we got a stimulus thing. Once again, wrong name, but we call it, they call it stimulus. And we had to hurry up and do it. You got to do it. We were told we're going to have a depression if we don't do this. It's a must. Got to do, got to do, got to do, got to happen yesterday. And so it's 1170 pages. It's given to our representatives. And within one hour, they have to vote on it. It's 1100 and 70 pages. And you get one hour to read it. You attorneys out there, you viewing audience attorneys, do you sign contracts without reading them? Do you allow your clients to sign contracts without reading them? Hmm. You know, do you take medicine from your doctor without reading the bottle? Hmm. Rather interesting, huh? So our representatives got together, okay, to represent you Okay, and they pass this thing within you know one hour after they get it. So none of them got a chance to read it. So they're you know they're signing blank checks, and they're signing it to who? Criminals from Chicago? Yeah, I mean something's new. Wait a minute, Bagleyvich, he's not a criminal. We've never had criminals in Chicago, let alone Chicago government. Illinois has not been the Crook County. You know, is it Crook County or Cook County? Crook County, Cook County. Hey, maybe it's all the same to you. Yeah, didn't they have gun control in that uh, in that place? Hmm. How's the crime in Chicago these days? Yeah. Well, anyway, with those thoughts in mind, we're going to go with a stimulus package. Remember we move the words around? I always flip them upside down. So I figure it's an anti-stimulus package. And so what I was going to say is, could you imagine from this we could get maybe bigger government and more, bu more bureaucracy? Gee, anything we subsidize, we shall control. Where have I heard that before? Hmm. Yeah. And I think it works out to a couple of cups of coffee a day for the, or a couple of cups of coffee a week for the average American citizen when they already have spent and, you know, and created money from nothing from that private banking cartel. Okay. But, um, hmm. Could this mean more taxes? Yeah, you, you may be struggling, but you can look forward to more taxes. That's the bright side of it. Let's see. More taxes mean, does that mean richer citizens or poorer citizens? Hmm. You could look forward to that, too, I guess. And then, once again, are you going to get more freedom or less freedom from this? Or possibly, how about this, less freedom, 
more slaves. Maybe they'll be like New York State, where they've got to bring in like 85 or 100 new taxes. Or like California, who once again, they've got us all used to spending more than we make. Who is this benefiting? These stimulus packages, these bailouts and all this. Gee, it seems like these bankers are doing pretty good. They keep getting the money, and you, and you don't. You, you've got to bend over, show your papers, take your shoes off, okay? And don't make any jokes when you're in line. Or they might taser you. You ask a question to John Kerry, you get tasered. Couldn't be, huh? Hey, dude, 